The long fly back from Africa has been nicely broken up for the Hurricanes. They stop off en route to Wellington in Melbourne. Amy Park is where they're at now and they'll be facing off against the Melbourne Rebels. A team struggling mid-table in Australia. We're looking to get the long road jitters out of the Hurricanes. Hello everyone and welcome along to Complex Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 3 and the Nathan Nichols Beer Pro career where we are in our final stop here before finally being back home. Mount Rebels, it seemed like most Australian sides who like to really sit and poach the teams on their way home from Africa. That's what the Rebels are trying to do here today. We look through this side and they've got a few little names of notes here that could cause us some trouble. Of course, they do sit third in Australia and they sit 10th overall on the ladder. Their season ultimately is over because they cannot catch those top sides in their conference. They have a team through Lawrence Brown and Cocker lining in their front row. Then it is Sam Lousey, a name formerly a Wellington player, if I'm not mistaken, and Popo Ali'i in the second row to join him. It is Quagga Smith. Quagga Smith is with the Rebels, the hero of season one of this uh, series. Back with the Lions in the Curry Cup. Grand final try scorer. Quagga Smith now faces up against Nathan Nichols. They have Antonio on the open side and Renata at number eight. It is, well, normally a fly half starting at scrum half here for the Rebels with Hawkins at nine, Fouchere at ten, Perez and Fonatia. Another name starting at outside centre and full on and fought on the wings with Dylan Lates at fullback for the Rebels. Well, the Hurricanes team once again unchanged going into this matchup. They've had a really good run now of games since Nathan Nichols come back into the side. They have been relatively injury free and only that big one to Raymond Rule is about the only player they've got out injured. So pretty much a full strength team in the way they've been playing as well. You'd expect them to be at full strength given the results. So the side is the same, nothing any different. I'll be looking to go for their third tour win before they get back at home um, for their final three matches as well, all against New Zealand opposition. So it'll be the Hurricanes to kick off. They, are, of course, are in the yellow and black. It's the Rebels in the blue and white. They are the home team. Strong wind across Nichols here from uh, right to left as you look at it now. And it will be favouring slightly the Hurricanes in this first half. As up goes the kickoff from Nichols. And it is underway with a great kick. And regathered as well by the Hurricanes. They've had a tough test over the last couple of weeks. Have the Hurricanes as Nichols slides through. He could go alone. He does. What a start. One phase. One play. One touch. One try. Well, like we were saying... They've been tested the last couple of weeks in South Africa. But Fatih Lofa delivers it to Nichols, who has a little jinkle, a little drive, slides through one, accelerates away from the rest, and then absolutely skins Lades at the back and leaves him for dust, just grasping at thin air all over the floor. That's the initial bust. And then lots this. Oh, Lades. No chance at all. And Nichols already. Showing some ominous signs of good form, of excellent form. So just two minutes into the game, one breakdown from the regathered kickoff, and the Hurricanes lead 7-0. I mean, I haven't even checked our tactical plays yet. Let's do that straight away if we can. But what a start. It's always nice to get a little bit of a early touch and put some kind of attempt to play on the board. But now the Rebels looking to do the same. They regather their kickoff. Here's their one phase. Are they going to kick a, a nice Release. start to the match as well and score a try? No. Not from one phase anyway. They do have the ball though and they're inside the Hurricanes half. Chipping away towards the 22. Great offload, one-hander as well. Oh, they had so many numbers out there. That had to go 
further to the right as they attacked. Still though, it is four on three. Nichols comes to help out, and Nichols makes the numbers pay. He levels things out. The cutout pass was a terrible option. You never cut out your overlap. That is just a disaster. Line out for Coles. Full Superman line out going what looked to be Fadi for in the middle. Barrett, big pass wide. And they cut out Nichols and go to Cuthbert. Cuthbert is smashed after the kick. But his kick has found the ground as well. And he's straight into attack. Look at that chase Boys. there by the Hurricanes. Rebels do hang on though, and they look to exploit more numbers out wide. One more pass! And that could have been another Grace. runaway opportunity. Still though, they persevere, but somehow Var gets Grace. across there. Doing it easy at the moment are the Canes on defense. They're covering so well. In their own half, a kick here. Probably being within their best interest the way that they've gone backwards. I'd like to get out there and get involved, but I just they're in an the area that they'll kick. We are all set nicely. Now we just Release. wait for them to make a mistake. The so rebels continue to. Oh my goodness! Release. They continue to push to the open side, but it's one out stuff here. Oh, now they got two passes in a row. So as I say that, they Release. decide to get adventurous. Now they change directions. Go to the Release. short, back to the open. But the Hurricanes defense, more than Advantage. equal to it. There's a mistake. What did I tell you? We just wait for them to stuff it up. Room out here. Nichols goes to Cuthbert. Cuthbert tries to make his way through. Another great tackle. We have completed our breakdown objective. There's a big pass goes to the left side. We'll follow that. No, we won't. Referee says, let's go back for the scrum. We'll have a little bit of a set piece. An area that the Hurricanes were put under a bit of pressure over the last couple of weeks in South Africa. The scrum was good in patches, but dominated quite often. They won't want to see that happen against a team like the Rebels. Oh, that is exactly what has happened. That is terrible by the Hurricanes. And now they are on the back foot. All that hard work to get the ball back, waiting patiently. And they have, well, really choked on it big time there. Rebels, they continue to find Whitfield on this left side attack. But they, going right, they just go one out. So confidence in their right side attack is pretty low at the moment by the Rebels. It's another overlap for them. Can they pass wide? It's two on one. Nichols has to make it work. He does just. He gets a hand from a friend. Somehow didn't turn that ball over, but they get it anyway. Nichols choosing to use the ball. He spots a hole straight away. Acceleration is there. Nichols up against Lates. Oh, he cuts him in half once more. That is too easy. Nichols jinks and he dies and he plants the ball down. Right under the black toss. Rebels can't handle him. They cannot handle him at all. Comes into play scrum half. Has a cheeky little snipe. Saw heaps of room there. And remarkably, it was a loose hip prop. Laurent, I think he was. Who was keeping up decent pace with him. There he was coming around from the other side of the rock. Look at him. He's, he's not far off, is that, that big man? And the step leaving... Lates once again just floundering on the floor like a fish out of water. It's the Nathan Nichols show. We haven't seen this show for quite some time. The Hurricanes have played really well as a team recently. But some days things just click. And today seems to be that day for Nathan Nichols. He's got all 14. As the Hurricanes lead the Rebels, 14-0. Back to halfway they go. And Fushil will kick us back underway. He's gone with a deeper one this time. The option 
to Nichols, who gets smashed, but gets a great off float away. And it is Fede for getting the pass from Fafita, but into touch they go. The second rowers getting some nice action together. Rebels have the line out. They are midway, 20, oh, 22 halfway line or 10 meter line, but it doesn't matter because the Hurricanes have turned this over. Now do they look to attack Quotum Barron. We've already seen his name over the last couple of weeks as well. He's been very quiet. Run from Fatigalofa once again. He is a strong man. They're queuing out to the right. There is Mitchell. An offload to his left. Please. Keeps the ball alive as they start to make their way up to halfway. Oh, and Farnage Rebels. That looks high. But the referee has let it go. And now they come out wide. Skosan, work to do here. The ball quickly out for Rebels. Why can't we steal it? It's out. Ball's out. Ball's out. Talareth Nichols is not happy with this. He's really getting in there. Makes it tackle. And knocked on by the Hurricanes. But we are seeing a dejected Lauren here. What's going on? Evan Fischer is injured as well. Is that what we just did? Did we just injure him with that tackle? Vidal is coming on. Um, I've never seen that before. A penalty being called back as well as a player being injured. Wow. Bunch. We have Bunch. really killed the Rebels there completely. Sick. In more ways than one. So Vidal comes on and I'm made to look short once more. Standing next to Burr. Get out of there, Alex. Just go away, man. Make me look like a little shrimp. Through go the Rebels. Looks like Vidal straight into the action with a kick downfield. Is it too heavy? I hope so. Woo. Thankfully it does. And that is Vidal. The only substitute on the field. Not a bad kick. Just a little bit too heavy. Crouch. And yes, Nichols Fine. captain. Calls his Hurricanes boys all Sit. the way back to halfway. They'll have a, another goal to scrum here. Set piece has not been that good for them. Five minutes of half time. Bar waits for it. Car has it at the back. Barrett, big ball out wide. Nichols looks for someone. Eventually is being picked up out there. Nichols has got it back. He needs one more pass. Oh no! That was a great ball from us. So he did the right thing. Nichols with two men with him. I thought he had it. I just didn't finish it quite well. Oh, he turned it over. And it's been smashed upfield. Away from everyone. Is it going to sit in goal? It does. And he puts it down. That was not a bad kick from whoever that was. Normally a forward that gets up and over the ball at the breakdown. Well, he ain't going to kick it over halfway. So I'm safe to stand a bit forward. I've let it bounce. What a clown. Oh, I struck away one. Oh, like, Nichols can't get away from anyone else, though. Pretty much was stuck there, and here's a run from Mitchell. He is all alone, though. I've got to help the man out. He's our grand final hero. This half time is far. Finds the ball back to Carr, and that's a knock on. And Nichols hacks the ball through just to make sure they don't get any advantage play. And we will go to half time with that as well. Knocked on. Who was that by? Didn't quite catch ease, I think. Either way, mistake is made. Lamape gets a pat on the back from Cuthbert. Who would have thought would be saying that? And bizarrely, for a very, very, very rare occasion, the Hurricanes are dominating possession. They've only put two tries on the board, and to be completely fair, they were just, what, what would you call them? Just freak individual pieces of play as well by Nichols. Nothing too structured from them. 72% of the ball though, and pretty much 50-50. I mean, 49-51 territory is pretty dead even. Line breaks, four to three. So I mean, the Rebels have had chances. They've definitely had their opportunities. The injury, not the biggest help for Shea going off. Fidel coming on. And both sides guilty of a handing error, but it is the Hurricanes making three. So interesting halftime stats there, but the one that matters the most is at the top. That is Hurricanes 14. Rebels nil. So Vidal back to halfway. A lot of weight on his shoulders. None of his kicks have really gone that far. So everyone's up on the 22 or front. That is a great kick. 
Outstanding kick! Almost regathered. I'm trying to stay behind our runners. But, ah, they look forward, but somehow he's got away with it. He's Renton. Renton goes for a bit of a run. Strong runner of the ball, isn't he? Renton, he's really secured that number seven jump. He's a pass! Oh! Where was that pass? Here's Carr. Zam Carr trying to have another highlight reel run like he did last week. Deciding to go, okay, to the short side, then a big thump across field to the open. And back there is late, but he's not getting away from Nichols. Knocked on the pass as well. That is perfect. Attacking defense. Is that what you call it? You charge up and you attack them with your defense. That's what we're calling it. And that's what the Hurricanes are really good at as well. Crouch. Bind. Set. Put that up to height. That's a 3-2-3. Three, three. I like it. I like more defense or attack on my right angles. It allows us to put in the right places we need to go. Now I am back, but I wouldn't be up in the line. So we'll, we'll draw in the line now. Bowden Barrett goes steep to Nichols. Wow, what's a perfectly executed play. And Dylan Lays, well, he can't handle a sock at the moment. He's getting skinned every day of the week. It's a hat trick to Nathan Nichols, who claims all the points still at 19-0. This was a superb play. I love this one. Boone and Barrett hits the line, takes out one, the pass right behind him to Nichols, and we all know what's gonna happen here. Lates hasn't tackled anything that's made a difference in angle at all. That's the disadvantage of having a bad fullback. When you get skinned through your defense like that, you need someone who's gonna make those tackles. Lates has not done that at all. Nichols grabs a hat trick and you'll be looking to grab a 21 point haul just after half time. Well, we're cooking towards a really good match rating here. He adds the extra two, as he always does. 21 nils to score. Nathan Nichols leads the Rebels solo, individually. No one else in the yellow jumpers. Hey, no one else on the field has scored a point here. Just number 15 for the Hurricanes, Nathan Nichols. Let's put him in touch, eh? Oh, damn, I should have left him alone because he would have gone into touch as well. That is a bit annoying. Sorry. Who was there for Fita? Oh, great pass. Oh, I slipped. I slipped. There's trouble. Catastrophe. That was close. They go deep. They're going to kick. No, big wide pass. It's a bit flat-footed here by the Rebels. That's a turnover. And there's a smashing kick. Yeah, I kind of did want that to happen because we're under the pump a little bit. Tank calls. Since when could you do that? He's just picked that up and chopped it way downfield. Got the bounce, got the roll on. Hey, look, Skosan is about the same height as me. We've turned over the line out. No, he's way taller. This is great here. This is great by the Hurricanes. We are dominating them at line out, but not at scrum. So I can live with that. As long as we're turning over the ball somewhere. Bowden Barrett. Bowden Barrett's still going. Pass the fan up. I need to get involved here because the offloads are thick and fast. Crap, I should have got in that breakdown. Should have got in that. Turn it over. Oh, we are going to turn it over. Nichols is scrum half. Look at all those players standing around. Great shot ball to Alice Cuthbert. He hasn't scored many. His cart. What have I done? What have I done? I knew as soon as I couldn't control that. Well, I've completed my kicking fever, so that's, that's one thing. But I mean, I'm always worried. When I can't make him go anywhere, you just know that they're going to do some stupid kick. Rebels have the ball though, which is Release. a bit annoying. We've lost it. They are just five or ten meters out from their own line. They're going to run it all the way back. Release. Could be impressive here. They're not gone really anywhere at the moment. They're playing one out rugby. As they've done pretty much all day. Now the kick's coming. You knew that was coming. Saw it a mile away. Great take on the full. Nathan Nichols charges through one. 
Didn't get through another. Maybe I was Fonatier, I just scrubbed away. We are trundling upfield and waiting for it is Mitchell. He fires a big pass wide. I think it might be in here. We are in with a big, big grin in the corner. Finally, someone else scores a try. It is burnt. Cuffy's in. Alex Cuthbert scores. Lamape returns the big back slap from half time. Ba'a with the angry, determined look. No, that was Mitchell with the angry look. There's Lamape, big ball, Bodie Barrett, trickling around across the back there. But they were not stopping the Welsh finish it. Cuthbert scores. And this one is getting a bit out of hand now. I think it was scored or conceded a try in quite some time. Defensively, Nichols has shored up this season. You must think that when he was injured, he was just tackling for those, what, eight weeks or nine weeks? Because his defense has been immaculate since coming back. And you've got to wonder, international duty comes calling again, which I expect it will. How will that change things for Mr. Nichols? That rise of level. But for now, it is Super Rugby in a concentration. And Super Rugby has got another two points from the boot of Nathan Nichols. The Hurricanes lead 28 to zip. A donut once again for the opposition with 17 minutes to go. I mean, they've played all right, the Rebels. They've made line breaks. They just can't finish much like the Bulls, much like the Lions. And again, they claim they're in kickoff. They offload nicely as well. They look to make the play. Nichols has got the ball back. He didn't really want it. He's going to run. Oh, he uses the rim beautifully. Sips over the top of legs. Leaves him for dust, but doesn't regather the ball. He makes him pay, though. Good tackle across field. But he's buried. Not good that he's buried, though. That's the only problem. Good work, Bowden. Get up, Nathan. We need to get you back and turn the camera back around. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Courtney. Oh, we've turned it over. Didn't even realize I was concentrating on just standing up. Oh, we've lost straight away. No one jumped in that run. While I'm throwing my hands in the air, the Rebels are trying to make a bit of a break here on the right. Release. Wouldn't they love some points? Nichols is... <coughs> Sliding left and right. Get up there, Bodie. I've got this covered, man. Just take that first line. Scores in, piss off. I've got this. Let's take your winger. Well, they're not going to score like this, are they, the Rebels? They've really got to use some width. And now they use some width. They've got to pass that, Rebels. Release. I mean, I don't want to encourage you guys, but you're just not doing the job. Wrong way. Big tackle. Release. And yellow jumpers are all over you like a rash. I mean, one out stuff, this is just not going to work. You've got to use more width. There they go. Now they're in for chance. But Cuthbert does well. The offload is sensational. And now they're in the 22. Sea Rebels, look what happens. You go wide, you put pressure on them. Cuthbert just returns Release. to the field of play. And he's put in another... Really gut-busting tackle. That's nice, a little bit of a step. It's, that Police. keeps us fresh, that keeps us guessing. We are all good. Slow, slow ball for the Rebels. It's got to keep going wide, Rebels. You want to test this, you got to keep going wide. Release. I mean, look how many numbers you got here on the left of our defense. Oh, that's a good play. That's not bad. We still used these numbers, kind of. Release. I mean, look. It's one, two, three, four on. Okay, it's four on four, I guess, if you look at it like this now. It's too late, Rebels. We've, we've, oh, we've covered our defense nicely. That's a turnover, surely. No! How did La Mape not get his hands on that? This is better from the Rebels, though. They are winding down the clock, which is suiting me just fine. We've got the bonus point. Uh, and they've done, they've done some good jobs here. Realistically, we haven't had a chance to get the ball. They have actually played pretty well and kept us out of the game. We made no mistakes. We can't make the ball in time to get a turnover. And they are still going. Release. We've got to credit them here. They've done it well, the Rebels. Advantage. Oh, okay, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. They've done well. And now Nathan Nichols turns Advantage it over. over. And Nathan Nichols cards away late. And he scores another try. 
this is what the Hurricanes do. Well, isn't that just, well, punishing? What do you call it? A knock on. Nichols picks it up. Yeah, most of all players will just knock it on again to end the match. Nichols picks it up, spots a little hole, accelerates through, and just finishes it. Bowden Barrett with a tackle. This is class. This is why he's one of the best players in the world. Late's got a hand on him this time, which is an improvement. But no way towards stopping him at all. That was pure class from Nathan Nichols. Just to get up and to have another stab is just ridiculous. Full time and gone. We we're already up 28 0. Fed three tries in the bag. Not enough. Not enough for Mr. Nichols. He strikes for the fourth time in this match and he scores 30 of our 35 points. That is just stupid from Nathan Nichols. I don't like to say one man team because we have really played as a unit well this season while Nichols has been back. The try scoring has been shared. I mean, Cuthbert got one, but oh, how must the Rebels feel? I think what will hurt them more is the fact that they sat there for probably the last 15, 20 minutes of the game, around our 22. They started to learn how to break down our defense, and now are going into the 22, starting to make something happen. Mistake, bang, 80 meters try to the Hurricanes. That's got to really hurt. That has to be a big kick in the guts of the Rebels. They deserve something. I think they deserve one or two tries. But our defense was just too good. Too good, too clinical. And 35 nil, you've got to say, isn't too far off the mark of how this match went. Five tries to zip. Nothing but donuts there for the Rebels once again. Zero, 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 zero. It's binary without the ones. And Cuthbert getting one try. Nichols getting four. Five out of five from the team for Nathan Nichols as well. Well, the position is interesting. We talked about how the Hurricanes dominated. I think they were about 70% possession at half time. The Rebels turned that around completely to about a 50-50 at full time. Territory, big increase for the Rebels in the second half. So they were the better side of the second half, but they just could not finish their dinner. They could not finish their breakfast, lunch, or anything in between. And they ended up with nothing. The injury, of course, can't say that that affected them too much. Uh, Fushia was pretty ineffective. Vidal did a couple of mistakes early on, but was solid after that. And when your team gets five line breaks and scores zero tries, questions must be asked. Nine by the Hurricanes, and they converted over 50%, picking up five tries. Mr. Nichols, how did you go, sir? Four tries, five conversions, six line breaks, six tackles, one handing error, but yeah, that was an inset pass, so it wasn't a knock on. So that was good. Overall, a good day at the office, and I think we can expect a nine plus rating and four greens from memory, maybe three. Let's take a look. Ho ho ho! Well. Didn't I underestimate that? I thought there would have been one stupid drop goal one or offloads, but five out of five for Nathan Nichols. It's amazing. You nailed all your objectives, but your increases are minimal. That's all right. Didn't concede a penalty. 60 kicking meters, needed 41. Needed one breakdown entered. We did four and 276 meters. Target was 65. Finally, two line breaks, we managed six. But look at these increases. 0.1 on fitness, 0.3 on speed and acceleration, 0.1 on aggression and agility, 0.2 on breaking tackle, 0.1 on both kicking and goal kicking, 0.1 on strength as well. Uh, mental got 0.3 as to discipline. Nothing with a huge increase, considering how well we played. I mean, what gives there? Yes, it was a 9.73. That's what I like. And to be fair, if we didn't miss two tackles and, well, I mean, dive at the floor to attempt the tackles and have a handing error, that would have been nearly, I think, would have been our best performance. 
and 0.15 would have made it 0.88 9.88 that would have been just ridiculously good overall though big try points there kicking meters tackles line breaks it was all gold all gold and the rebels can't help but admire the brilliance of nathan nichols right so some more games going on stormers with a win over the force we're back home finally we are back home our final home game as well we've got two more away matches after this just three games remain in the season before we can look towards playoffs and then it is decision 2019 that's right where do we go next year that is the big big one for us to decide but first things first let's take a look at the competition and see where things sit wow the chiefs are not going away are they three points behind still play that extra game but they are still there if we slip up still we got to slip up twice in our last three games but they are right there crusaders have had a much better season i mean they were i think they got one win last year this year nine and five so big big improvement the oh, the terrible turnaround have been the blues haven't they top of the table best team last year bar the hurricanes and you, you've got to say could have been winners now five wins nine losses they have fallen a big 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 way and the highlanders the team we play next it should be a fairly easy win for the hurricanes in africa what do we got here big lead still 18 points for the bulls cheetahs got a nine point buffer over the lions who are three points on top of the stormers who are one point on top of the sharks so a bit of a battle for the wooden spoon there in south africa and australia oh there's nothing going on here the rebels got smashed they're 10 points behind second place brumbies now waratahs that is 16 points ahead of the brumbies in second the reds and the force i guess they could battle for the wooden spoon as well less than a win in that matchup but overall nothing happening in australia so the bulls still lead the way in the overall table but still played two games more so the bulls have only got one match left in this season we have three so we should smoke them into top spots before the end of the season the chiefs well they've got an extra game in hand as well so depending on that last bulls game goes the chiefs could sneak in the second if they lose and the chiefs pick up two wins waratahs they'll take fourth crusaders fifth Sheeters, Brumbies, Lions, that is your top eight. With the Stormers and the Sharks rounding out the ten. At the bottom, still two Australian sides. You bet your bottom dollar it is. Overall, Mr. Nichols, two stats at 100. Kicking and mental. We have 98 speed and acceleration and aggression. They are, and goal kicking as well. They are the closest to being maxed out. So hopefully we can tick those boxes before the end of the season. Would be nice. And finally, contracts. I mean, if we get a lot of these teams right up there, I mean, where did Bath go? We were way up there with Bath. Um, they've actually fallen off a bit because we rejected their contract, which is, you know, I guess that's how uh, professional sport works, isn't it? So a lot of interest from around the world here, as we see every single week. Uh, where we go, nobody knows. But I imagine, like last season, we will have a boatload of offers to go through. So let's see what happens there but for today that is us done and dusted Nichols with another win another wow that an epic performance I mean look this season he's only played five games but that has been by far well it's been his only foray into the nines um he's had a great year previously has he got yeah nine point twos so he's definitely well there's the 10 okay I thought we were pretty close to a 10 a 10.0 against the Bulls last season so we're not going to beat that, but getting those nines is what we really want. But that is it for today. Another good win for Nichols, a 9.7. That is what we'd like to see. But for today, I'll catch you all next time when we are up against the Highlanders. Until then, thank you for tuning in and watching, and take care.